Hello everyone, my name is Fernando and I am the owner and denturist at Cajun Denture Clinic. And today I'll be showing you how I scanned a new dentureless patient to fabricate a complete lower denture against an existing complete upper denture using Three Shapes Trios 4. Let's have a look. The first thing is to let the software know what I need it to do. In this case, is a complete lower denture. Second step is to go ahead and scan the lower jaw. This patient had extractions done four weeks ago and now it's on its way to healing. As you can see, there's quite a bit of detail for the scan to pick up. So it was a lot easier for me to scan this lower jaw. I do find that in order to scan the lower jaw better, the scanning tip needs to be at a certain height from the tissue. And I'm not sure why that is the case. The higher I go, the less the scanner sees. But the lower I go towards the tissue, the more it can recognize. So I am not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if there's something wrong with the scanner. So hopefully some of you that uh, have more experience with uh, scanning the dentalist patient can shed a light on this. So following Dr. LaRusso's workflow, I scan one half of the mouth, let the patient relax and let the software uh, do its thing or finalize the scan and then I go ahead and scan the other half of the mouth. As you can see, I'm still not an expert at scanning a dentureless mouth, but it is extremely exciting for me to be able to fabricate a denture uh, from this scan. Once I'm satisfied how the lower scan looks, then I can go ahead and move on to the uh, scanning of the upper denture. Scanning of the upper denture, it's a lot easier than scanning tissue. Uh, of course, I have to make sure to scan the occlusal side of the teeth as that is what my lower denture teeth is going to be uh, occluding against.
Next is the meat and potatoes of um, the scanning workflow, and that is to go ahead and um, scan the bite. So in this case, what I did was uh, I checked VDR and VDO in the mouth, then I used the bite registration material to uh, go ahead and put the upper complete denture uh, tight against the uh, entire occlusion against the lower bite rim and therefore I was able to scan the bite that way. So in order to align the bite it is important to uh, scan the facial and buccal aspects of the complete upper denture and uh, the same for the bite rim but for the bite rim you also need to scan the intaglio surface is that is what you're going to use in order to align it to the lower uh, edential scan. Once the bite has been scanned, then I go ahead and uh, use three points of references on the uh, bite rim and do the same thing on the uh, edential scan and I let the software automatically do its job. Do also the same thing on with the uh, complete upper denture. I used ID three points on the uh, bite scan, and then three points on the actual denture in order to line everything up. I'm not sure if this is a glitch on the TRIO software, but I was not able to align properly the complete upper denture against the bite scan, uh, but not to worry. I still continue uh, to post-process the scans, so then I can go ahead and move it over to three-shaped dental system, and then uh, I was able to align everything properly there. After the post-processing is done with the TRIO software, I'm able to transfer all the information over using three-shaped communicate to my dental system. At this point, I can create an order to fabricate the complete lower denture. I use the Ivoclar Digital Denture Workflow to create all my dentures, partials, and complete. And in this case, you can see that I am going to be doing a monoblock trying for that complete lower denture. Because I changed the work order that I created with my TRIO software, once I create a new order in the dental system, it does ask me to uh, rescan all the, um, uh, the lower and upper scans, including the bite. So as you can see how easy uh, it is to do this. Once all the information is transferred over to the dental system, I go ahead to the Align to Bite page and uh, you do have to make sure that you click uh, the negative uh, alignment because you are, are, you are aligning an impression uh, to actual tissue scan. Here, I can go ahead and fabricate a complete lower denture against uh, the existing complete upper denture. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos. Thank you.